So it looks like Joan Cooking has lied to you guys yet again. Being honest, knowing his history, knowing how he always lies, I highly doubt it is the company and I definitely think it is him that is lying. If I'm wrong, John Cookian, prove it. Show me the receipts. I want to see the receipts. If I'm wrong, I will publicly apologize. Welcome to GiftGaps Mailbox. You have two new messages. Hi John, it's Claire from Prison Birmingham. Um, this is John, we just seen your promo video about the menu change. Um, Professionals that have been in the industry for a very long time, so reputations behind this band. What if makeup could be more than makeup? In the fast lane, we play our cards, praying we'll find out just who we are. Bitch, I've been the king. What up, everyone? It's your boy, Martin Lewis. It's your boy, Martin Lewis. Martin Lewis. Boy, Martin Lewis. What up, everyone? It's your boy, Martin Lewis. Team Real, welcome to my channel where I call out fake and talk about YouTube drama. So, as you guys know, we were talking about John Cookian and the makeup launch he's having, and if it's a scam and whatnot. And I ended the video with a continue because it's so annoying doing a video on John Cookian. It's just, it's like the same repetitive bad behavior he continues to do. It's like, yo, people were still blind by his bullcrap, like, People are still not catching on, like what? And as you guys know, I did say I highly doubt that the John Cookian's lying and the, con uh, the company never contacted him. And if I'm wrong and John Cookian shows the receipts, I will apologize. And it looks like he showed some receipts. Also, we're gonna be talking about everything that is wrong with his launch and much more. So make sure you stay until the end because you don't want to miss out on all oh, the juicy drama. <laughs> So make sure to smash the subscribe button with the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new drama video. Let's get this video ranked in the search bar so let's get this video up to 5,000 likes and if you want to give me any stories or leads, all my social media links are in the description below. So let's get straight into the drama. So if you haven't seen part one of this video, I suggest you do or you're going to be confused. I right, so pause this video, open a new tab and watch fit part one. It's got around probably 50,000 views by now, but I'm sure not all of y'all seen it. So make sure you go see that video. Last time we left off when John Cookian was showing proof that this company that Margot was contacting contacted him. Roll it. About the event. Something's come to my attention. I received a phone call from the lady, very, very sweet lady that I've been organizing this event with for months. I can't express that to you. And I received a voicemail and I'm going to share it with you because I want you to understand from my perspective what's actually happening. Because in the past when this has happened, I've really kept it to myself and I've not shared it with you. But in this occasion, I think this is a good opportunity for me to talk to you and explain to you. you kept it to yourself, really? Because there were times that when you did open your mouth, like you did in your more channel, you lied. Like, for example, when you said Peter Mon was the one who told me to do the video on you. If you guys want to know more about that and his lies, you can check out my playlist. I'll put a video somewhere you can go check it out and catch up. Welcome to Gift Gaps Mailbox. You have two new messages. Hi, John. It's Claire from Prison Birmingham. Um, this is John. We've just seen your promo video about the venue change. Uh, um, and also, um, the comments that have been put underneath by Margot. Isn't it interesting how he takes out the auto of Margot's name in his video? Are you scared, John Cookian, that people might discover her videos that are basically calling you out with all the receipts and proof? Maybe, maybe that's why you hide her name. Hmm, interesting. 
Twitter and Instagram. Um, we are slightly worried about it all. I wondered if you could uh, contact her direct just to kind of put her comments to bed. Um, we don't want this escalating to our head office and to our customer service department that will have to kind of take some action. If you could get back to me, that'd be great. Cheers, bye. So in this video, he basically spins the narrative that Margot is harassing him, harassing this company. But keep in mind, this is the same company that has actually messaged Margot. And in fact, let's actually look very close to the message that John Cookian told her. Hey Margot, the venue has contacted me re regarding the comments you've been making. I work with them for a long time to organize their event and they are upset. Really, John Cookie? Because they don't seem upset in the voice message. It seems like they want you to put things to rest because you really can't take any responsibility and address anything. Looks like the message has ended in a good note and hopefully Margot Indigo will have more receipts. So I do, I do suggest to go subscribe to her channel. I'll put her link in the description below. But... Yeah, it doesn't sound like that lady was upset. So you really like to pull this narrative that they're upset when really they're not. All about people analyzing situations and pure slander and harassment. It's creepy for me to imagine because I sit here talking to you about Cookie's courtroom, but this person has literally posted videos coming from my family members. I've had to speak to a lawyer. This is prior to Cookie and having a law firm associated to it. I've had to speak to, my, to, uh, to a lawyer to assess for myself if there's anything that I should do. I'm just such a victim, guys. You know what I mean? I can't even blow my nose. <laughs> the issue here is that an establishment that Cookie is now associated with that was going to hold its launch with is now being harassed by an individual on social Really, bro? Harassing the company? That, that doesn't sound like that at all. Oh, whether or not that's real, that's irrelevant. Because, uh... Funny. They, again, just in case, didn't catch it the first, second, or third time. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't see any mention of harassment or anything like that. Pretty sure they probably would have blocked her if they did feel that way. ...from media, and the same individual is the one that for the past, I don't know if it's a year or six months or more than that, has been not only harassing me, but also harassing my family. And when I say harassing, I mean directly contacting employers and making up, literally making things up. John Cookie, you're as bad as Rich Lux. Remember that time when Rich Lux tried to act like he was crying and someone was trying to call his work or whatever. Now you're doing the same thing. And I've already spoken to you briefly and told you, Cookie and as a brand is legally defended. This isn't just my child that I have grown from scratch and put my blood, sweat and tears into. There's now other people's reputations behind this brand. There's professionals that have been in the industry for a very long time's reputations behind this brand. And there's also new people that are so desperate for their break in this industry with their reputation. It's funny how he says there's a lot of professionals behind his brand, but he's still hiring people, which is just a bit weird. But um, if there's professionals in your brand, we will get, we will talk a little bit later after his launch because I'm telling you the only person behind his brand is him. I don't think a professional person will touch it with a 10 foot pole, but um, I could be wrong in that. I just really highly doubt it. And along with that, obviously Cookie has an association with literally schools in different countries now, which is a really, really big deal to me. And allegedly that is also a lie, which we will show later in the video. You really build yourself up to look like an idiot, bro. And I think we need to have a conversation and every time it got to the time when she'd agreed to talk to me, she would cancel. She would cancel. She would cancel. She would go missing. She would go quiet. Margo ended up responding to this on her you now. This is what she said. Let's see. Here we go. Okay. There's our messages, John. Again, I like receipts too, buddy. Then you said you messaged me on there. I said I didn't see any messages. And then after that, nothing. Look at that. Oh, except for your little, your little threat there. Showed you guys that one last night though through YouTube to receive someone's personal information from their Google AdSense account. We would have their name and their address, basically their identity we would have access to. And that's everything that we would need to go ahead with a lawsuit. Woo, lawyers! You know what, Margo? You got nothing to worry about because someone actually tried to do that to me. <sighs> A 
man thought he could sue me and try to get all my personal details through Google, which Google rejected um, the thing that the, the Sabina, I don't know what you call it, the lawyer gave some something to Google. Google sends me an email and I was like, yeah, as if I'm going to give him my information about Felicia and Google rejected them too. So John Cookie thinks it's just easy. He's going to be able to walk in there with his lawyers or his lawyer's going to be able to send him an email. Mm -mm. Impossible, bruh. Impossible. Margo's in another country, so good luck getting your lawyer, flying him to America or hiring a lawyer in America. You're full of crap. You're, you're not gonna do it. I'm sorry, like... Consolidating his birthday. As you guys know, John Cookian cancelled his launch party and ended up organising a event for his birthday party. And of course, I was curious, like, how are you going to display products and all that? Well, it turns out he cancelled that event as well. It is my deepest regrets that I must tell you that we have no options to cancel the cocky and launch event and the birthday party. This was really the last option and I'm very sad about it. I have been looking forward to meeting you and for as long and I never anticipated the issues that we have run into which we cannot be resolved on this time scale. To say sorry along with issuing you a full refund for and tickets purchased for the event. I'm also sending everyone with prom and prom 18 plus tickets. More than a makeup I was going to give you and there's more here, so... Allegedly the person that I have spoken to have purchased a ticket. She did get an email that she's getting a refund, but at this time she is waiting to see if the money will go into her account. I believe that it will. So it is good that John Cookie is giving his refund, saying that there have been some people claiming to um, be blocked by him that um, they asked about the refund they got blocked no one has contacted me saying hey Martin I purchased the product I'm at the ticket and I asked John Cookie and I got blocked some people have said it and it's just I don't know I just I haven't directly speaking to these people like one person I saw and some of these accounts look really one of the accounts look really sus and dodgy look like a fake account so you know I don't know. I'm sure maybe other people have more receipts. If they do, they might show it, but no one has come to me. So this is the one that I have, and I know that this person has got the email that they're getting a refund, but they're waiting for their money to reach their account, and I will update you guys on a later video if they have received the money. And from what it looks like, John Cookie and tried to reorganize his birthday. If I rent a club for my B-Day, 22nd December, could you come? I will be surprised if people still want to go after the broken promises you already did. You cancelled a launch and you cancelled your birthday party, which you probably didn't even need to. Like, I don't know why you cancelled it. Like, I don't know what got in the way. Bullcrap maybe, but you cancelled it. So... I personally would be like, bye bitch, I ain't going to your third attempt of a birthday party. Then he puts this on his Twitter. I drove 1.5 half hour through the rain to have a B-day meal with my fan member I haven't seen in a long time. When I arrived, they told me I was inconveniencing them, so I cancelled my B-day and went to sleep. Lemayo, can we reschedule and have a party for another day, titty fam? So this, I'm really confused. Are you, is that why you cancelled your birthday party? Because your family members said you're being an inconvenience? And you went home and then you went to bed? This is so confusing. And this is so unprofessional to be like, I cancelled my birthday because my family member said this. <laughs> I cancelled. Like, what are you, a baby? The launch. So let's talk about his highly anticipated, <laughs> right, anticipated launch. So it's 25th of November. Kids are waking up from their bed. Oh my god! John Cookie's presents are out! Oh my god! Kids are excited. Adults are running to the computer. Oh yeah. 
or a year and a bit for this. Seriously, an all year for John Cookian's makeup. And then, all of a sudden, this happens. <laughs> I just hear her laugh and I laugh. <laughs> There's nothing there. I cannot wait to see what he turns this into. Like, you guys overloaded the server. Oh my god, it was insane. Like, with what? There's, no There's nothing to overload. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta admit that it looks so bad. When a website gets overloaded, the first, it doesn't look like that, bruh. Okay, it does not look like that. You basically put in some font on your website to make it look like it got overloaded. Look at that. It's just text again. Shocker, I know. See, I feel John Cookian's a little bit egotistical. As you know, he's been talking a lot of ish about Laura Lee, Jeffree Star, M-U-N-A, whatever his name is. So you know he has to have the best. If you talking crap on others' makeup brand, you know your ish has to be together. I feel he, he did that to make it look like there was so many people on his website. Maybe there was a mistake. Who knows? But there's a receipt going around floating on Twitter showing that he actually typed this. Petty Page's fiance, who knows all about that type of stuff, said this. Well, my partner is um, he's quite a dab hand at programming, so he knows this shit like the back of his hand. So, he's just told me some really dope information. I'm going to show you, and he's going to explain, okay? Yeah. You'll never get this response of a server that's crashed or overloaded. It will just blank screen. Right. Looking at the source code on it, yeah. he's still got the image up here, and he's basically just put text in to say server overload. Right, okay. Okay. Then we can do a ping test against a website. If it was overloaded, you won't get a response. Yeah. And we're getting a response within milliseconds. Right. I'll just show you the test so again. The, so basically the website is still responsive. So that's his web address there. Yeah. You can ping it from multiple locations. Yeah. We run a ping test. That's California, USA. It's still responding. No losses. Minimum response time is one millisecond. It's still up. It's still running. So there's no server overload at all. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. Wait, wait. So tell them exactly what you just did again because I lost it. Okay, okay. go. Basically, we're looking for the source code to see if there's any other pages to his website. Yeah. I couldn't find anything, but I do know of a website that can. Yeah. So I went over to this one called SEO Site Checkup. Right. And what it does, it basically produces a map of the website. Yeah. Which, when we click on it, opens up as an XML document. Yeah. And down below, you can see all the different pages he's got. He's got a contact page, yeah. he's got an affiliate page. Yeah. In fact, that's got shorter. What's got shorter? The page has got shorter. How do you mean it's got shorter? As in there's not as many links now. He's getting rid of them? Um, oh, I don't know, actually. Anyway, on here you can see cookingcosmetics.com slash affiliates.html. Yeah. If we take that... You've... Okie doke. So if we copy that... Yeah. And we open up a new page... Yeah. And we paste it... Yeah. It goes through to his website. Right, so that shows that the server's working if his affiliate page is still available We've for people to We've never visited that page before. That's the page he's obviously given to the affiliates. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So basically, that's if you want to be an affiliate of him. Yeah. If you look at the bottom, it's yeah. still got an FAQ, which goes to a blank one now. Okay. But what else is there? There's a contact page. Yeah, click the contact. Which goes through his contacts. So his contact form's still working, so that part of the website's working. And if you go to home, it takes you back to, to server, server upload. upload. So that proves that the server is working, it's just that he's trying to fob us all off. That's right. Not only that, when the page was refreshed on Margot's side, the products were all out of stock. So how can the products be out of stock if the website 
wasn't working. It was overloaded. Like, how's that possible? Oh, after the 404 attempt, it's up, but everything's out of stock. <laughs> I think this is about all you guys are going to get from me for the rest of the night. Uh, and it turns out he got really pissy at Petty Page. Check it out. Uh, I was not ready. I, I, I don't think he expected me to make a video. Um, however, it's not like I've ever hid that I was ever going to make a video. And if any, I've made like six videos on John Cookie. This is my seventh. Come on, you should expect a video, right? Mm. Um, I'll read you what he said. <clears throat> it was all via text message. It was really condescending. I'll was... explain as I go along, right? It's on Snapchat. So he goes, I have put my life into this brand of this launch. Why would you go and do something to make it look dodgy for absolutely no reason? What did I do to have you lie and make up that we faked crashing our website? You have been, we have been sat all day testing the system and we had to pull it because nothing was loading from our server image wise. Like I have good, such good intentions. I've worked so hard and you're literally coming at my neck for no reason. Then I said, this is the most anticipated launch, John. My fiance is looking into the codes and they're just not adding up. You're a drama channel. We ask questions, we challenge things. You just did the Laura Lee cat's pajama scandal. Of course I'm going to look into it. <laughs> then, then, then this is what he said. This is the most condescending thing I've ever heard in my life. You can ask questions, mate. <laughs> mate. Listen, when okay, when somebody says mate in the UK, it's really condescending. It's like it's like, okay, buddy, all right, pal. Do you get what I mean? Like, they're not really your friend, they're just saying it like that. It was like yeah. honestly, it uh, that really got me angry, but I thought, can it get yourself together? He goes, but why make shit up? Um I don't have millions of subscribers. You could have asked me. I have the pages open in front of me. Don't save my chats. I was saving kids' chats. Um, <laughs> this day is so hard for me. I have no one I can trust then. Um, I have your negative minions filling up my social media. How is it okay in anyone's books? I never promote... I would never promote my followers harassing and attacking someone doing something like me. And then he said, Z, 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 which I guess means he was falling asleep. I explained, he goes, listen, I explained it to you. The server had overloaded because it wasn't letting anyone load the images. Um, that's why we changed the front page and removed them um, other than the small logo. We didn't bullshit or lie, but content is throwing hate all over me when I've done nothing. He was typing very fast, by the way. Um, my mentions are garbage with people believing. Like, I'm nice to you and I'll speak to you when you're down. This is the part, right? But when I, but when you see a chance to use me for some controversy at my expense, that's okay. Now that part really pissed me off and I'll tell you why. Um, obviously when all of the here for the tea crap went down, um, and I was getting it from the neck and all that kind of stuff, of course he slid into my DMs, of course, right? Mm. He slid in, he's like, I hope you're okay, blah, 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 I'm like, I'm great, I'm fine, thank you. Now, I use that as an opportunity, and I'm not gonna lie to you. I use that as an opportunity because every single time I've tried to message John Cookian to try and get a response for a video, to try and get his side on something, he never used to reply to me. Then all of a sudden I'm here for the T's number one enemy and he wants to be my friend. So I was like, okay, so now I've got this form of communication with him. Now, if I ever make a John Cookian video, I can speak to him and ask his perspective, right? Um, so I just kind of felt like he was like, oh, I speak to you when you were down. I was like, well... Bruh, Rich Lux messaged me. Karina Kaboom messaged me. Do you get what I mean? It doesn't mean that we're friends or it doesn't mean that, oh, you know, we're close or whatever. That was never, ever, 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 ever the case. It's the same way, like, somebody starts shit with you, I'll be like, yo, Martin, are you cool? Do you get what I mean? That's, it's about being courteous. Anyway, so I said, I have now to lie about. If, if it ends up working, John, then I'll admit fault. So let's see, shall we? Shut me up and win. God damn it. That's all I said to him. And he hasn't responded to me since. So, um... 
the spelling mistakes. But as you guys know, John Cookin really likes to talk crap on Laura Lee and her spelling errors. The funny is that John Cookin. See, I have an excuse, man. If I make spelling mistakes, I've got dyslexia, okay? I made a whole video about it. I'm selling it. If you want to know that personal part of my life, the link is in the description below. But, bro. I, I, you want to make fun of Laura Lee, man. And you got spelling mistakes yourself. And learn how to spell, okay? You spelled on your web website exfoliate, you spelled it oxfoliate. I've gotten 15 screenshots of that today. The warehouse. Now someone pointed this out to me about his uh, warehouse, but let's let's just listen to him talk about his warehouse so we can, you know, he can dig himself a deeper hole. Roll it. Where I'm going to be shipping from, I have warehouses set up in not only the US, which is what most companies do, they'll just set up a warehouse in the US and ship internationally from the US. I've also set up a warehouse in the United Kingdom, which will serve all of the European Union. So that's the UK, France, Germany. If you guys go to his website, you will see there's an address, right? An address for his returns. You know, most companies have the address of their warehouses. And as you can see, it looks like John Cookian does. He has this beautiful warehouse called the Mailbox ETC. As you can see, this this hard this man he's working very hard in the warehouse. Look at him. Look at him moving John Cookian's makeup products. Where's your warehouse, bruh? Hey, I've not disappeared. My lunch is tomorrow. I'm just super super busy. Super super busy. Like like I can't even keep control of my room. Busy and I've still got more boxes to arrive. You got a warehouse, but you're waiting for boxes in your house. Interesting. W when are you going to give us a warehouse tour, John Cookie? I, w I would love to see that. Jeffree Star, you see him in the Snapchat in his warehouse. No, John Cookie, he's in his bedroom and he's basically using normal, average, day-to-day -day mail. This is the type of issue you wouldn't use for a cooperative business, bruh. So it's very obvious that John Cookian is lying to make himself seem very important, that he has this warehouse. It's just all bullcrap. The return policy. Now another thing we have to look at is the return policy. We notify you if your approval or rejection of your refund. So basically, if you get the wrong color, you got a rash because you can't see the ingredients on his website, he's the one who's gonna decide if he can return it or not. He has basically covered his ass at every expense so that these cosmetics don't ever have to go out, and if you don't like them, well, it's not his fault. And right here it says, we do not warrant that the quality of any product, services, information, or other material purchased or obtained by you will meet your expectations or that any errors in the service will be corrected. So basically what that says is, y'all don't like it, fuck you, okay? To be eligible for a return, your item must be unused and in the same condition that you received it. It must also be in the original packaging. To complete your return, we require a receipt or proof of purchase and allegedly it's against the law as well apparently if you return it within a certain time frame he has to refund you back so I'll be careful purchasing a makeup product and then realizing that it burns your skin for example because as we know John Cookian doesn't seem to list the ingredients and you might not be able to get a refund because you opened the package whoops that goes on to our next topic expensive ingredients you guys notice when you go through John Cookian's website, the ingredients are not listed anywhere. And this is a big no, no. What if someone is allergic to your products? Not only that, how do we know your products are actually safe? Now I'll share something a little bit personal with you guys. I am very a-hole about what I put on my body. There's a reason why I look this good at 51, okay? And that's the first thing I notice, ingredients, because I know what is toxic and what is not. Not off by heart, but I know I know the main, the major toxic ingredients like sodalol sulfate, propylene glycol. There is no way I'm putting that stuff on my skin. Nah. I would be very careful of purchasing these products, not just John Cookians, 
but many companies out there. There are so com there's so many companies that are underregulated and uh, are linked to accused toxicity, tumors, headaches, skin, um, and eye irritation. Um, so many health issues. So that I would be very careful of. Like we don't know how toxic it is. Okay, that girl looked like she was asleep in his video. That's how poisonous it could be, man. The charity scam. So in John Cookin's website, it says, Cookin Publications celebrates the world's best makeup artists, product photographers, product designers, and more, without prejudice against following age, race, gender, or sexuality. The focus is strictly on talent and nothing else. 100% of the profits generate from sales of the Cookin Publications are donated to the Cookin Foundation. Wow, so you're not making any money at all from this? Wow, John Cookin's just such a generous man. You know, he's just he's just so generous, guys. Now, Josephine, another YouTuber, has pointed this out. His company is not listed under UK Gov. If the Cookin Foundation is a legitimate charity. Right, so we're on the gov. U, um, the gov. UK website. This is where all registered charities in the UK would be found or operate in the UK. So charities. Oh, there's nothing. So your charity, the Cuckian Foundation, isn't registered. Professionals that have been in the industry for a very long time's so reputations behind this brand. Now, after you said 100% goes to the Cuckin Foundation, <laughs> then you say a portion of every cell is donated to the Cuckin Foundation. Professionals that have been in the industry for a very long time's so reputations behind this brand. But the thing is, he always puts a lot of scammers do this, okay? I'm not saying John Cookin is a scammer, allegedly he is, but Scammers always put things together with charity to try to make it seem like it's a legit business. They want to capture your emotions because when you find out that that one little dollar is going to charity, you know your butt, you're going to be spending money. If there's a chocolate, right, and one chocolate says, hey, we're giving our dollar to this charity. You know you're going to buy the chocolate that says they're going to give their mon some of their money to a charity. Okay, so companies do this because they know it raises their profits. Some companies are legit, you know, they are, they do have a big heart and they do want to do good. Okay, but some companies that, like this one, all profits really, all profits, bro. How are you feeding yourself? How are you paying your admins that are working for you? How are you paying the IT person that was fixing your website? Really? Come on, let's be real. Now to his makeup and packaging. This might be in another video, guys, because look, there's so many companies out there that have the same shades that he has. So it's hard to know if he got these products from AliExpress or not. But one thing I will say is that John Cookin seems to be a little bit of a copycat. So as you know, he has this real ugly, fugly lipstick called Dirty Money. And it's the same one that Jeffree Star has. This is the guy that John Cookian loves to talk about. Not only that, why would you choose such an ugly makeup? <laughs> and it's out of stock too. Who wants to put that shit on their lips? Let's be real, unless you go in for Halloween. Okay, you want to look like Concrete Woman or some crap and put that on your lips, bro? <laughs> it's ugly as hell. I'm not into makeup that much, but I can tell you that is ugly. Who wants to wear that, bro? And for that to be one of your main products, I definitely, in my opinion, I think he picked that purposely because he knew it would probably, everyone would start talking about it. Maybe Jeffree Star will call him out and give him some, rec you know, some clout. Who knows why he put that there? Also been saying that, you know, 
oh, he didn't know, you know, Jeffree Star so many shades and he got it from a song and complete bull. And honestly, when I was looking at his makeup, I knew this was made for Rich Lux because we all know Rich Lux likes looking like a clown. So I was just like, yep. Rich Lux gonna be all up in this ish, but Rich Lux hasn't even spoken about it yet. That I find that very interesting. Maybe he will soon talk about his friend's makeup launch. Like I don't know, you talk about beauty and makeup. You know, you think you would talk about John Cookian. Not only that, but the packaging looks so similar to Mark Jacobs or Jacob Mark or whatever you call that brand. His brand looks similar to that don't you think hey guys let me know what you think in the comment section below definitely answer all the questions in the poll and i know i'm your guilty pleasure so make sure you hit the subscribe button with the bell because if you don't john cookian is going to um deliver toxic makeup in your mailbox so you better hit that subscribe button with the bell and smash that like button let's get this video out there people definitely need to see this and his lies and i'll see you guys in another drama video